<laughs> hey my babies welcome back to my channel it's your girl raya j and i'm um, back with another video today is sunday my babies i hope all is well with you all all is well with me and i hope we all are continuing to say about happiness peace and love and i hope we all are continuing to stay determined motivated and focused and I hope we all are continuing to walk in the alignment of stars that Allah has for us. So, before I get started, I know you guys see that intro. First of all, your girl was working on that intro for almost a few hours, okay? And it was stressing me out. I couldn't get it right. I had some few little things I wanted to put in the intro. But, um, I don't know. Like, it just, once I had everything in there and it was perfect and I kept trying to export the intro, the perfect, um, the, um, yeah, the intro, the per I, I, I kept trying to export it the perfect way that I, that I edited it to be. Like, it wasn't exporting. And then when I put the, psh, the explosion in there and I didn't put nothing else in there, it decided to export. So you know what? I, I got tired of playing around with it and trying to tweak this and do this and make it all perfect. So I just left it as so. Um, y'all know this is the first time that right, your girl right there has ever had an intro in any of her videos because you know I'm learning like you know my videos are great I give great um I, I have great quality I have I give great great content but I'm still working on a few things as far as my channel like I want to put um the watermark in the corner of my videos you know I still have to I still have a lot to learn as far as my my intro skills um, I know y'all see the banner on my channel. Go look at my page, y'all. I finally <laughs> changed the banner on my channel. And, you know, I'm going to link the, um, the two girls where I actually learned how to even, um, fleek, <laughs> how I even learned, learned how to fleek my banner and create an intro. Like, I watched two girls' videos and they put me on game. And you know, I learned my little one twos. So um, yeah, they told me I'm gonna put the, the both of their links in the description because if it wasn't for them, your girl would still be out here with her channel looking regular. You feel me? So um, yeah, but comment down below if you like my new intro and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when your girl Ryan J posts new content. Um, I also wanted to tell y'all something else, but I can't think of it. Oh, I know y'all see my new wig. So this is the new wig, y'all. I showed y'all it in the last vlog. At first, when I first put it on, I was like, I don't know, I don't like it. You know, I look like Aunt Barbara or some shit. But, uh, <laughs> Wookie said it's cute. Um, I like it right now, specifically, because your girl got a major flare right in the middle of her forehead. And, um, you know this ba the the bayang the bayang oh, 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 oh. yes the bayang is helping your girl cover up a good old flare up and if y'all see my face kind of looking in a, a bit of distress y'all my face is going through a lot like i don't know what's up with my face but she's she's stressed out like my face not me but she <laughs> my face <laughs> so um yeah but let's get into it the reason why y'all are here um I told y'all in the last video, the last vlog, I told y'all that um, I'm going to basically be updating you all on a few things in my life and, um, you know, just catching up with y'all, having that one-on-one, -on -one, that essay, essay, y'all know how we do um, chit-chat videos. So, where do I start? Um, I remember a few videos ago, um... I was telling y'all, get ready, you know, it's about to be a new year, you know, I'm about to go celibate, you know, I just feel like I'm having a spiritual awakening and I just, I want to be celibate right now and I'm trying to, and I remember I was telling y'all in 2020 that I'm going to try to push for one year, y'all, because y'all know, for those of y'all who have been watching me, you would know that I've been celibate two times before in the past, like in past years, but I've only been able to make it at like seven months tops. And I'm gonna be honest with you, those times that I only made it to seven months, I've been disappointed in myself, you know, because I'm like, girl, come on, you can do better. Like, you can do better, you can do better. You know, for me, when I go on my celibacy journeys, it's, it's a very spiritual thing for me. 
um, you know, I'm trying to get closer to Allah. I'm trying to get closer to myself and I'm trying to uh, detach myself from people and situations and things like that. So um, I love to go celibate, you know, because I, I, I love to challenge myself. I really do. And, you know, because I'm a type of person, y'all probably know that I get bored so quick. Like, I get bored with people, things, places. Like, I get so bored uh, with all kind of things in my life. I'm just that type of person. So, it's it's imperative for me to keep trying to challenge myself and keep looking for ways to express myself and find things, you know, healthy ways for, 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 for an outlet, you know, for myself. So, um... That's why I, I be deciding to go celibate, you know? And then everybody don't deserve me. Like, I got great energy. Like, I'm a great person and my sex is bomb. Everybody don't deserve me, you know? And if you have been watching my channel for as many years that you have been watching my channel, you would know, like, Raya J has gone through a lot in her life. And no, I don't want sympathy from you guys. I don't need you guys to be like, oh, um... I just, I just don't like sympathy, you know? I like to use my stories and situations and experiences as learning tools, you know? Learning tools and inspiration and motivation. And um, I, I just like to use myself and the things that I've gone through in my life thus far to help the next person, you know? Because I think that's, at the end of the day, I think that's why we're all here, you know, to spread the things that you know drop gems help the next person like because you're not going to be here forever and the next generation is going to be here your kids your kids kids and so on and so forth so you know when you die what are you what are you really leaving behind like what are you really leaving behind how are people going to remember you you know and when i think about myself and when i get to the at the afterlife i know people are going to know who i am and not just how I look or what I did you know people are going to remember how I made them feel the way I treated them you know um how I was always just a real raw and authentic person and you know regardless of who who did me wrong or you know how dirty somebody did me or how, how ugly shit played out like at the end of the day I was true to myself my heart and you know I played my cards right ultimately in the end you know I don't I don't want to die with no regrets. So I make sure to just always be who I am, you know? And, you know, hence why y'all don't see me hanging around with a lot of people. I don't hang around no females. I don't hang around fake family. I don't hang around, you know, I don't have no uh, dude best friends. I really don't. You know, I have associates. I have, basically, I have associates. I have people that I'm cool with. Um, me even coming to 2021, I realized like people that I've been calling friends and oh da 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 like we I ain't right J don't got no friends. I'm my own friend. Allah is my friend. My daughter is my friend. My ancestors are my friends. You know, um, but in the physical world, I don't really I can't. You know, because people are just too fake. They too phony. You know, they'll give you one vibe and then next week it's a whole nother vibe. Um, you know, and my energy. My energy, I can't take that, y'all. First of all, I have anxiety. I'm an empath. Oh, my God. Like, I'm very spiritual. Like, I'm all about vibrations and energy. Like, I can literally feel people's energy. Like, and I don't even have to know you like that. If we in the same room, I can feel your energy. Like, I'm really big on that. But I kind of got off topic, right? Um, But maybe it's kind of in the same boat. <laughs> Um, but yeah, y'all, I just, y'all know that I'm a very sexual person. I think you guys know that by now, by the story times that I've given y'all, by the way that I talk, <laughs> by the way that I express myself. Um, y'all know that I'm a very sexual person, you know, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm not, you know, I'm not, um... I'm not ashamed of that. I am who I am. You know, I'm a woman. And, you know, I know what my body is capable of. And, you know, <laughs> I know what I can do. I know what I can do. Um, I'm just very sexual. And not even when it comes to, like, sex, this or that. Like, I can just be having a normal conversation with somebody. And they'll think, like, I'm flirting with them. 
and I literally don't be flirting with people, but people just, people just, I don't know, like they feel, first of all, I'm very attractive, so I know that, um, I look good, and I know how to talk, I'm a great conversationalist, um, I hold conversation very well, uh, some people say I'm a smooth talker, I, that's the Libra in me, we're very smooth talkers, you know, but that's just who we are, and sometimes we're just talking, we're just going along with the conversation, and because Libras are so smooth, man, you might think I'm flirting with you, and I'm not, like, I'm just being friendly, I'm a very friendly and social person when I want to be, um, you know, it's just sometimes I need to go into solitude and you know, pray and meditate and protect my energy and recharge because being around people every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day can drain my good ass energy, you know? So I'm very, very um, knowledgeable about myself. Like I can go out, I can chill, we can chill, we can talk, we can vibe, but um, tomorrow you won't see me. <laughs> you see me this week, you ain't seeing me next week. Because my energy, man, is priceless and I have to protect myself. I have to protect my peace. I have to protect my soul, my sanity, my mental health. And, um, you know, all of this is very important for me. You know, I've known who I was at a very young age, you know, and I'm talking spiritually, you know, I'm talking inner self, you know, self love type stuff. You know, I've, I've known who I was, you know. Um, it's just that we all go through. What it is is that we we all have temptations, temptations in our life, you know. And what is your what is what is something that what is something that you have to fight yourself with? You know, what is something that you have to fight yourself like to overcome and to do better and to be better? You know, for me. Y'all notice it's sex, you know, I love sex like a lot. <laughs> and, um, you know, for some people it's, it's weed. People smoke weed all damn day. Some people can't go, go a day without drinking, you know, um, some people, some people, you know, there's so many different types of temptations that are out here in the world. And we have to just literally, we got to be stronger, y'all. You know, we are stronger. We are mentally stronger than um, than we think we are sometimes, you know. Like, at the end of the day, this body is just flesh. This is all just flesh. But when I die, my soul is going to, it's going to live on. It's going to move on, you know. And um, it's always going to be it's always going to be who it's always been which which is me you know but we let our flesh sometimes have control over our over ourselves you know and it's it's not healthy you know so for me like i said i, I love to challenge myself in different ways you know look at me today like something as simple as creating an intro <laughs> finally for my channel like yo it was a struggle for me because i've never try to create an intro you know so when i was watching the girl's video i was learning steps i'm i gotta i kept rewinding the video like hold on what she clicked what she did hold on girl hold on and um you know i finally got my little one twos together and that's the thing with me though you see at the end of the day i could have gave up i was close too i was i was i was so close i was like you know what fuck this you know i ain't making no intro or i'm just gonna leave it the way it is and my baby, she sent my, my Wookie, she's like, no, mommy, try it again. You know, you got this, mommy. You can do it. She's like, please, Allah, help mommy do this intro. <laughs> she's so sweet. I love my baby. And she's so supportive of her mother. Um, You know, so I kept trying. I knew that I could do it. It's just that I, I wanted it to be perfect, you know. But at the end of the day, I didn't give up. I kept pushing. And I, I got everything, at the end of the day, the best that I could. At least I now have an intro, y'all. You know, that's... That's the most important thing. It's not all exact the way I wanted it to be, but it is. It's 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 good. It's good. It's cute. And um, until I get better and learn more things and stuff, that's just what it's gonna be. Look at my banner. Like I kept trying to put the banner 
Like I made some cute ass banner, but it was too big. So it was only showing the middle of the picture. And then I did it again. It was in the same position. Then I did it again. It was only showing the bottom. Then I did it again. It was only showing the face. I'm like, ah, what do I need to do? So what I had to do was I had to make the pictures on the banner smaller to fit in that banner, in that banner size of my channel. And then add the little, the diamond and the heart and oh God. But then I finally did it and I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. So, um, I know I'm all over the place y'all, but I'm getting my shit off. And y'all, y'all appreciate me when I get my stuff off. Cause y'all know we right here. Okay. So I know y'all probably thinking, well, girl, you said 2021, you was gonna start your celibacy journey. My nose is running, baby, give me a tissue. You was um gonna start your celibacy journey. So where are you currently? Uh -uh, I'm hot, please go get my tissue. You're gonna mess up my video. So where are you at in your um celibacy journey? Because we know on New Year's day, your friend came over. So y'all, we were not intimate. I was so wasted that I, I passed out, you know. Um, I was so wasted that I had to text him, like, I had to text him the next day or whatever, and I'm like, hey, you know, did bloom, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he was like, nah, you passed out. So um, that was that, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I was done. Y'all, if y'all haven't seen that true for drink video, go watch it because it's very entertaining. But although, I mean, y'all didn't see us taking shots. We didn't start taking shots and asking those real, real deep questions that we wanted to ask each other um, until I got off the camera, you know, because he doesn't like the camera, y'all. I was trying to make him feel comfortable. And I appreciate the fact that he even did those few little minutes with me for the vlog, you know, because he didn't, he really didn't have to. He, he doesn't like to, but he did it for the sake of me. So I appreciate that. So yeah, y'all, that was New Year's Day. That was one one twenty one. Um, Nothing went down. And today is what the, y'all like, girl, get that tissue out your nose. Know. I'm sorry, y'all. What is today, y'all, the 16th? Um, yeah, still nothing has went down, you know, with me and my JJ. And, um, I'm proud of myself. To be honest with y'all, towards the end of the year, I was not being, excuse me, I was not being as intimate as I was, like, in the beginning, middle of the year in 2020. Towards the end of the, the end of it, towards, soon as 2020 started winding down, I'm talking, October, November, December, I was winding down. I wasn't having that much sex, y'all, like legit. So, um, like in December, I think I only had sex like one time. I'm not even lying to y'all, like one, one time, two times max. So when the new years came, when the new year came, 2021, me and my friend, we were not intimate. I've just been minding my business, doing me, living my life not being intimate with anyone and um yeah that still stands till today i think today what's today the 16th it's sunday y'all i mean what's today saturday yeah it's sunday because tomorrow is martin luther king's birthday um so yeah but i do need y'all to pray for me <laughs> to be strong y'all and for those of you who are on this new celibacy journey with me keep pushing like you got this like if this is something you really want you will you will complete your goal you know for me i'm trying to complete one year you know i really am you know y'all i want y'all to do better than me i really do although i have not slipped up yet Who's to say that I won't slip up tomorrow? You know what I mean? Oh my God, y'all. I'm trying to be strong. I, every day I'm asking Allah, please Allah, please help me. You know, I really want to make one year, you know. That will, if I'm, if I make one year of celibacy in my life, my life will be complete, you know. I told y'all the last two times I made seven months. That was good. That was literally good. I made it a little bit more than half of the year, you know? 
um both times so that's good but i'm trying to do great i'm trying to be better you know what i'm saying so i'm trying to hit a year once i hit a year of celibacy man my life is gonna be complete because i challenged myself you know i was i was disciplined you know i was serious about what i said i was gonna do and what i wanted to do in my life you know but i can tell you this y'all at the end of the day, we're all human. At the end of the day, sex is a natural thing. All right? I don't want y'all to just think like, oh, you know, sex is unorthodox and, you know, making a mistake is so wrong. No, if you make a mistake, then you know that you have to do better next time and don't repeat the same mistake, you know? And as long as you are safe and, you know, as long as you are safe and, um, long as you are safe and you're comfortable and you're doing things because you want to do them ladies i'm i'm more here for it y'all know that like i'm really like a sex icon <laughs> but sometimes i go through these awakenings right i go through these spiritual awakenings where i'm trying to challenge myself and elevate myself and evolve myself in my life so i try to just challenge myself the best way i know how you know and um just give my body a break and a rest and a whole detox because you know Yes, sex is great. Sex is it's, it's pleasurable. It's fun. It's a whole situation. But um, there's nothing wrong with taking a step back and not doing all of that sometimes so you can get more in tune with your mental and your spiritual and your inner self and your peace, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing monthly updates. This is January. The next, the next update y'all gonna get is a, is this around the same time next month, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. And y'all know I'm very transparent with y'all. I'm very real with y'all. Like I have no reason to sugarcoat, to lie. Like no, this is my channel. We essay essay with each other, and things are gonna be what they're gonna be. You know, um, and we have to accept things and we have to be who we, we are. And if we make mistakes, we have to own up and take accountability. And, you know, we have to learn lessons and continue to grow and evolve. You know, th that's the best we can do. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to talk y'all head off. We already 22 minutes in. I hope y'all got something from this video because I know it was kind of all over the place. I'm over here talking about intros and not having no friends, not having no sex, <laughs> this new wig. I mean, we was talking about a lot of things, but it is a life update. It, it is a life update, um, but the main point of this video was all about my new celibacy journey. So if you are on this journey with me for the new year, 2021, I want to say good luck. I'm praying for you. Please do the same for me, that we can be strong. We can be strong people okay and not not fall into temptation and not be weak of the flesh can i get a oh can i get an amen inshallah so um yeah y'all it's bedtime i just decided to do i was supposed to do it earlier but i was i'm not, I'm not gonna lie i was feeling lazy i was just laying around all day so um after i did the intro and everything i was like and I was about to go to bed, me and Wookie, I'm like, let me just do this video for them so I can upload it for tomorrow for y'all because it is a holiday. Happy birthday, Martin Luther King. Um, I hope you all are, I hope you all are do, just feeling blessed, doing okay. I know we're still in a global pandemic and some things are going, some, some people are going through a really hard time. I know this personally because you know, I do have people that I talk to and, you know, people hit me up and just express themselves to me. And I know everybody just, man, y'all, 2020 was so rough, you know, but it's like 2020 has continued on into 2021. We got the inauguration coming up that I can give two shits about, honestly. We're still in a pandemic. People are hungry. They don't got no food, no money. They're still jobless, you know. God knows what children are going through at their homes with the with their parents because they can't go to school, you know, and they have to do this remote learning. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on in this world. You know, children are being trafficked. They just caught like 42 predators. Um, I forgot in what states, but they just caught 42 predators. Um, 
who was, um, you know, dealing with um, child pornography and sex trafficking and all that kind of, yo, it's so much stuff going on. Woo! But as long as we focus on ourselves, we can then change the world. You can't worry about changing the world if you don't first look in the mirror and try to change yourself and make yourself better than better than um who you was yesterday so i should have tucked my straps in y'all seen my straps the whole time why i ain't say nothing my straps is all hanging all out oh my god and y'all supposed to be my babies anyway <laughs> anyways let me let y'all go if you made it this far in the video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to your girl Raya J's channel. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when your girl Raya J posts new content. So, my babies, this is the end of the content video, my babies. I love you all so much. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace, Peace and love. Bye.